welcome back to my channel this is Varsha here how are you all doing I hope you're all doing really well and so today I have this really nice goldy bronze look which was a total inspiration from the Kali Bible palette I recently got it I had an old one and I broke it to bits and pieces that I really could not even fix it and I was heartbroken so I had to order another one and when I got it I was totally inspired to do this look so if you want to know how I got this look so stay tuned and also give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more such videos let's get started so the first thing that I did was I spritzed my face with the matte prep and prime so that it kept me hydrated throughout the day For my primer today I used one of my favorite which is the Too Faced Hangover RX primer and I mainly applied it to my T-zone and I smoothed it right into my skin. Now taking the NYX Concealer Corrector Palette, I mainly use these three shades to correct all my imperfections which is the acne marks and my hyperpigmentation on all my face. If you want me to do like a color correcting video on how to conceal all those dark marks and also dark circles, do let me know in the comments below and I shall gladly film that for you. And for my foundation today, I used a mixture of these two foundations which is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi and the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. I shall leave the shades in the description box below but I kind of applied this with my beauty blender and the beauty blender was damp. The beauty blender thus kind of helped in giving a good airbrush and a smooth finish to the skin. And for my concealer highlighter thing, I use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea concealer in the shade medium light and I kind of applied uh, in dots on the places where I wanted to kind of conceal and highlight. Now this concealer is now this concealer give, is actually very very light but gives you a really good coverage and I have been loving using this. It blends in so smoothly that it doesn't leave you with that cakey feeling and also it doesn't crease at all and so a big thumbs up for this one. To set all this in place I used the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder which has been my current obsession you can say because it's so finely melted and it's so smooth and it locks everything in. It does help in keeping my makeup steady all day long. For my bronzer today, I used a mixture of the e.l.f. bronzer and the Physician Formula bronzer. I will leave the details down below. And so I did apply it to all the places where I wanted a kind of a sun-kissed glowy look to my face. And for my brows, there's no surprise, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Ebony, I believe it is, and I apply it to all the sparse areas of my eyebrows.
taking this orange shade from the NYX concealer palette I applied it to my brow bone as a good uh, kind of a corrector and a highlighter for my under right under my eyes not for my eyes right under my eyebrows oh my god yeah for my eye primer today I used the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer which is an oldie but a goodie and I applied it to both my eyelids and I don't know why but my eyelids were irritated today so this one kind of went a bit patchy but I kind of worked with, with it. This is kind of a very good primer it's just my eyelids were kind of rough that day. Taking the Balm Cosmetics Batter Up Shad Eyeshadow Stick which is a really nice coppery brown shade. I applied it all over my eyelids and I kind of uh, blended it with a buffing br blush, blush, blush onto my crease so that there was no harsh lines. From the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette which is the star of this whole eye look, I took the matte light shade and I applied it to my brow bone as a really good matte eyebrow highlight. Then taking this kind of a dark plummy shade, brownish plummy shade, I applied it to the crease of my eyes with a big fluffy blending brush. That was a mouthful. <laughs> taking this deep brown coppery shade which has a really good shimmer to it, I kind of mainly applied it to the outer corner of my eyes to give it a good dimension. And then I kept blending it with a fluffy brush until I was happy with the way the color came out. Checking this dark grey shade from the shape, the same palette, I applied it to the out, outer corners on a very very light note and I kept blending it so that it gave me a more of a smoked look. And then taking this shade which is one of the most beautiful goldy bronze eyeshadows, I applied it all over my eyelids and I did this quite for 2 or 3 coats until I was happy with the colour payoff and I kept blending it with the fluffy brush so that there was no any kind of harsh lines on my eyes. Taking the ColourPop gel liner in the shade Call Me which is a really nice brown eyeliner. I did a really thin winged eyeline look and I went for brown because I did not want uh, a really harsh eyeline and uh, this brown gave it a really nice subtle look and it really went in with the gold bronze kind of eye look that I had going on on my lid. Going back to the palette and taking these two shades as a mixture, I kind of applied it right under my waterline as a good uh, shadowy look so that it gave a bit more dimension to my eyes. Taking the Milani Shadow Eyes in the brown shade, I believe it is, I applied it to my lower waterline. For my upper waterline, I used the L'Oreal Silk Is Me eyeliner in the black shade which is really really soft and smooth and it glides on really well. I don't know why I kind of struggled with that eye <laughs> but yeah, I kind of struggled. For my mascara today, I used the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Mascara and I applied first the primer on my top lashes and then I went in with the mascara. And I applied this both for my top and bottom lashes.
for my blusher today I use the Milani Luminoso blush in the shade Romantic Rose and I applied it to the apples of my cheek for a really nice flush of color. For my highlighter today I took this shade from the Kali Bible palette and I applied it to all the places where I wanted to highlight and oh my god this is such a really nice intense look and so I went all out with it and yeah I love the way this looked on me. For my lips today I used the L'Oreal Colorish lipstick in the shade Divine Wine and oh my god I have been obsessed with this lipstick. It is a really nice kind of a brown plum maroon shade of tone and it went really well with this kind of gold look today. And the last thing that I did was I again spritzed my face with the Max Fix Plus and kind of dried it, sort my hair out to the way I wanted it to look and that's it. This is the final look guys. I really really hope you enjoyed this look. Like I said, this whole inspiration was from the Kali Bible palette and I really wanted to do a really nice summer glowy look which was perfect for this whole summer spring time. If you do recreate this look, please do show me all your recreations on my social media sites. I will leave the link to them in the description box below. And also I will leave all the product details that I've used today in the description box below. So do go check them out. And I think that's it for today guys. I do hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, please please do give me a great big thumbs up and subscribe to my cha channel. Do share my videos and that will mean the world to me guys. It will really help me out a lot. Thanks for watching today. And also let me know in the comments below what other looks you want me to film and I shall gladly do them for you. So that's it for now. See you next time guys. Until then stay tuned and be happy. Bye.